all right what's going on you guys welcome back to my fishing channel or welcome to my fishing channel if this is your first time watching one of my videos i got in a bunch of these new nico baits craws super awesome brand new to the market they just came out shout out to nico baits i am a pro member through them so i do a little bit of repping for the team we got all kinds of different colors we got fusion we've got mud bug we've got magma craw we've got eclipse which is like a more natural color we've got a good black and blue color like a muddy water color they're all really really good colors um so this video is basically going to be me showing how to rig the nico craw it is a soft plastic so you can pretty much rig it how you would rig any other soft plastic um, my go-to way to rig this my very first go-to way to rig this is going to be with a ned rig style jig head this is my little terminal tackle box that i keep all my jig heads in so we've got one of these craws here i'll show you how durable they are i mean you can literally sit here and stretch 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 i'm not going to try to actually break it but that's the claw it's one of the claws i mean any other soft plastic company you see their claws are not that durable a bass can grab the claw and just rip it straight off even the look at the antennas look at the little the little antennas they're durable the legs i mean if you've ever used a nico baits product before they're just as durable as any other other products it's just this is their brand new craw. This is the mud bug color. This is honestly my favorite color just because here in Indiana, the, a lot of the craws look like this, just a real dirty brown looking tan, deep tan looking color. All right, so we've got just a 1 15th ounce mushroom style jig head right here. And I'm gonna go in through the back of the tail. And it's not a big jig head, it's only 1 15th of an ounce. So. You just go in, you don't got to go in too far. Come back out. You can literally grab the hook and then grab the soft plastic and you can pull it up over that hook keeper. I mean, they're durable, so there's you're not going to you're not going to break it. You can be comfortable with the bait. You you can you can move it around on the hook, you can re-rig it if your hook comes out in the wrong spot. You can re-rig it a bunch of times if you mess up, so that's an also another cool thing about these craws. And um, yeah, there it is on the the net head. So I'll just sit almost vertical like that on the bottom of the water. And it's got the floating claws, so if a bass sees that just floating right there, it's gonna eat it. Like, hands down, it's gonna eat it. And then um, I brought in a worm hook out here this is just like a two watt extra wide gap worm hook. And I'm gonna take this craw right off this Ned head. And they're that durable. You can re-rig them a bunch of times. So straight off the Ned head, I'm gonna put it on this extra wide gap worm hook. I'm just gonna go in through the tail. Come right back out. Just as, like if you're rigging up a worm for like a Texas rig. Go to the eyelet and flip it. So there you go so far. Then you're gonna see where your hook's gonna come out. About right there, so just line it up. Just line it up, come straight through. And they have a hook slot in the top of the cross, so you don't really have to tech expose your hook. That hook's gonna just fall right in that slot. And so that's gonna keep you pretty much weedless. So you can throw that weightless. You can throw it with a bullet weight. It's like a Texas rig option. Super nice. And then the last one I'm gonna show you is just on one of these shaky heads. Shaky head hook. This one has a screw lock keeper. I really like these screw lock keepers it keeps your bait on your hook and then um yeah so with these 
already had one of these rigged up as I was actually throwing it the other day but there's the screw lock you just screw it in the butt end of the crawdad and then line your hook up see where it's going to come out just like with uh, the worm hook and you just come in come out and that's a another nice sort of finesse style option that's going to sit on the bottom of the water just like that Ned head have those floating claws and the bass sees that it's going to get munched so yeah um i'm hot i'm sweating that's how i rig my nico craws there's a bunch of different options shout out to nico baits go get yourself some craws you can get them straight from their website they just came out as of last thursday so like comment subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my fishing content and stay tuned for the next video thanks guys